Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and I'm back today to share another one of my newest creations I have up for sale. Meet Baby Dodger. This beautiful newborn size baby boy, open eye. He is 19 inches long and he is heavy. He is 8.5 pounds. He is super floppy like all the babies I've been selling. He's a 20 EcoFlex with a marshmallow blend. I will go over and show you all that. And all I did for art, I did him more pristine like Twin A, but of course every baby I do slightly different. So this one for the art um, that I added was a little mole. I felt this baby needed a mole and he's got beautiful brown glass eyes. And then he's got just a tiny little bit of milk spots on the side of his nose. There's like three over here and three or four over there. Very little on that. And then on the bottom of his foot, I did a heel prick. That's all I did since he's a newborn baby. That's all I did for the outside of the regular art. Then, of course, he's got beautiful veining. He's got blushing with mottling within the blushing. He's a beautiful skin tone. He's roughly the color of Twin A, just a shade lighter. So he's a nice light baby, very light blushing. And then, of course, the creases are done, the belly button done, the nipples done, um, the nail beds and tips, and he's matted to perfection. I use the most expensive paints. I use silicone, um, Fuse FX silicone paints. You can look them up. And I also use silicone velvet to seal them. So that's not what sits on top of him as a baby powder. It's what's embedded in him with the silicone seal. So the Fuse FX silicone seal and the powder with it, which is a very hard step to do. I had to learn. I had to practice on many babies to get it down, but now I've got it perfect because it can end up looking crystallizing if you use too much, if you use too little of the wetness, the ratio is hard to get down. I know I've had people ask me that. It is very tough. I had to practice on the silicone pieces, on uh, really, you know, inexpensive babies, like the, the budget babies here. I had to practice in the beginning because it's not easy, you guys, to get that down. That ratio is kind of hard to do. And so you don't want, you want to be able to do it right because otherwise you get crystallization and spots that look like, you know, it's chipping, peeling. It just doesn't look good. But he is sealed to perfection. He's soft. I can't even tell you how long the silicone velvet will last. He's got no shiny spots, no need for powdering. Um, you can put powder on, just pounce it on just for the smell or in the diaper. But the more you rub anything, paint and things will come off. My babies don't need to be. I have babies I've done well over a year ago. I still don't need to powder. And they're still as soft as can be. I bathe them. I don't bathe them, you know, tons of times, but I have bathe them. You just pat them dry and they will be as soft as they are right now. I've already bathed him twice because I, you know, when I do his seal, I wash him and then do the back and then wash him, you know, the different steps or whatever. So he's already been washed a few times and then the last I've washed him again. And he's still as soft as can be. Thus its name, silicone velvet. He is velvety soft, super squishy. I will go over all that. He did have a closed mouth. I did open it. He takes a full pacifier and he is just so floppy. I'll go over and show you guys all of that when I get him up close to the camera, and then I'll show you everything he comes with. But he is gorgeous, and I love that little mole. I, I've done a mole before. Um, usually, I do like a Marilyn or, you know, maybe on the arm, but this one, I wanted it by the eye. It looks so cute on him, and he does have painted blonde eyebrows. Now, I did not root eyelashes. I can on an open eye, but this particular baby, I own two of them. And I've sold one. Uh, I sold Goldie. I'll stick it up on the screen there. That was a little girl version. I own a boy and a girl version. I've had eyelashes on the boy, and I don't like them. I like this baby without them. Some babies are born where their lashes are so faint or hardly none that you don't see them. This baby looks really good without the lashes. It really does. You can, if you want, have it rooted, um, but they look really good without. Um, Annette will agree with you, who got Goldie, which she calls her angel. She um, has got a bald baby, too. Her girl version is bald. She hasn't even rooted it yet. She was going to. She just likes this baby bald, and so do I. Of course, being a boy, he can wear hats, but he just is phenomenal. He's got a beautiful head, so he looks really good without hair. But I did give him the eyebrows, at least that, uh, blind, blonde eyebrows with different shades of blonde running through. I'll get up close and show you that. They're painted. And then um, I seal them. So let me show you. And then, of course, he's got the wetness in all the right areas as well. So on the lid and coming down, um, in the nose and down the nose, on the lips, in the ears. It does look like I need to shine up the lips one more time. I'm going to do that. I just think when I was messing with him, I just, you know, must have touched some of the powder. So I will wet them up a little bit more for you guys to show you that. Um, 
But other than that, everything else is good. So in the ears, the fingertips, the belly button is wet. Um, the little boy bits, he is anatomically correct. So he's got little boy bits. Um, the little wetness there to look like, you know, little babies would be wet there. Um, other than that, he's matted to perfection. No shiny spots at all on him. So now let me get him up close. Let me show you first this floppy baby. Again, watch how far he goes back with me holding him. He is the floppiest, squishiest baby ever. So realistic looking. He is gorgeous. Um, a lot of people tell me I curve that appetite for a high-end baby. They can cost two, I mean, between 15 to 50 grand for a baby. But an average silicone is going to be three to $4,000. And I'm curving that appetite for, you know, all you ladies and men out there. I'm so happy that I can help you in that area to give you a budget baby that looks high end. And I use the best products. A lot of those silicone artists don't even use the good products to seal in all of that. That's why you'll notice in channels people got shiny babies that they bought the high end. You won't notice that with my babies. No, no, no. I invested in the best and yet I charge so little for these babies. All right, let me show you that beautiful face. Look at how realistic he is. He's saying, who wants to take me home? Oh, he has a suck bump too. Who wants me home? Who wants me? He's got those beautiful painted blonde eyebrows, the beautiful chocolate glass eyes. Now those eyes, you guys, are over $20 after tax from Irresistibles. Look them up. They're a dark chocolate brown. He's got the beautiful mole, the little bit of milk spots. Now I'm in 4K, so they look a little bit more prominent. But when you see them in person, you'll see they're very little, just on each side of the nose. And then, of course, look at that wrinkled nose there. And then look at the veining on top of his head. Look at that ear, you guys. Look at the shininess in the ear and the redness around the ear, that little bit of blushing on the cheek there with the mottling in it. The veining, the other ear, look at the veining over there. And then going down, you see he's just pristine and light and beautiful. Look at all the uh, creases done, that beautiful belly button. That's my favorite part on a baby is the belly button. When I do it, I love their belly buttons. Then the nipples and, of course, his arm over here with the veining, the little bit of redness in there. Of course, his hand with some veining on it, the tips there. He's got a fist here with the finger pointing out, almost like twin A. And then, of course, the open hand over here and the nail beds and the uh, veining there, the veining on the arm and inside. Then as I go down, you see his beautiful legs in the veining, his beautiful toes. This one's kind of curled a little bit. There's the bottom with the heel prick on it because uh, he's a newborn baby. There's the other side with the veining and all the creases and the uh, toes here and the bottom of that foot. Then I will show you the back of him so you can see his beautiful veining back there, his cute little bum. He's got a bubble butt. His bum and all that. Oh, he is just soft, you guys. I can't get over how soft he is. The blushing on the back of the elbows, in the back of the legs back there, and then the veining and everything back there. He is stunning. He also has the mobility to put his head however you want it. If you watch In Love with Reborns, she'll tell you that these babies can do more than the high-end three to $4,000 babies. You can't get their heads to go like I'm doing right there. Look at all the different poses. You can just use a blanket to put the arm up. I mean, there's just so much you can do with, you know, these babies. Their silicone on them is phenomenal. Let me get his head looking at you guys. I hope he's looking at you. He's saying, I need to be adopted. Who wants me? All right. So let me tell you his price. He's going to be, now I said I was going up on my prices just slightly. He is going to be $525 shipped in the United States. Anything outside of the United States would have to be paid for the shipping. I'm still a little bit nervous about shipping outside, but I might do that um, for you guys. Um, just let me know and I'll have to look into the shipping on that. But in the United States, he's $525 shipped. He's going to come with a lot of things. I'm going to show you that. And he's just gorgeous. And I love the name. He looks like a Dodger. Look at him. Doesn't he look like a Dodger? He does. He definitely does. Let me show you what this beautiful boy is coming with. All right, you guys. So this is how Dodger will come home to you. Just like when you have a new baby in the hospital and they get the baby all cleaned up, put it in a onesie, a little hat, some socks, and they bring you over the baby. So this is how he will come home. And I love the green on him with his brown eyes. It's phenomenal. You can see the hat's new. The mitts are new too, but they come in a two-pack. So I had to take them out. And the socks are new and the onesie's new. He has the diaper on, but that's how he's going to come home. And let me show you what he's coming home in. Now remember, he is stunning bald. He is stunning without the lashes. 
Annette got that uh, baby from me and she has not even rooted it yet, done eyelashes. She doesn't even have the painted eyebrows. She liked it just the way it was and she goes, I can't even bring myself to even root it right now because she loves it. My two babies are rooted, but like I said, with the eyelashes, I didn't want the eyelashes. I did it on my Toby and I didn't like it. I like the babies without the eyelashes. I do. You'll see when you get this baby, he's phenomenal without the lashes and babies can, like I said, be very baby fine and not even have lashes at all. So, and phenomenal bald, but he can wear hats. So don't worry about that. If you want him rooted, I can do that. If you do purchase him and you say that I want him rooted, it's an additional 150 right now before he would come home. Otherwise, if you want to take him home for a little while, send him back to me, I will root him then. That's 200 then for the rooting. I, you just save it if you do it within your purchase now. So he's going to come with a sealed off bottle. I've been doing that, a sealed off fake formula bottle. Um, when it starts to, um, you know, separate, just shake it up, but it'll last a good year. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. Um, and when it gets clumpy and icky, just open it up dump it out and make make your own it's just two to three ounces of water two tablespoons of a cream color lotion and a just a little toothpick dipped in food coloring yellow food coloring and just swirl around there and shake it up and you got yourself a formula fake bottle he does have a, a mouth to be able to take it but he is not a drink and wet so just remember that he can't take a real bottle so that's why i seal him off so he's got the cookie monster bottle of course, a lovey. He's got to have this lovey. Look at this lovey, what he's coming home with. Isn't that sweet? And it's got the bow on it. He's coming with the lovey because every baby's got to have a fuzzy friend, right? He's coming with that. And then he'll come with the Cookie Monster um, teether to go with the Cookie Monster um, bottle. And then he'll come with baby wipes, the huggy wipes for fun. He's going to come with an extra diaper, a love's. He's going to come with a pacifier and clip. Let me show you that. Um, let me see which one I'm going to do here. Let's see. We'll do this one. Well, that one kind of matches better. Um, I have my choice of two here. So if you specifically want a certain one, just tell me. Uh, you got Forever Hungry, which he always is. You can see that belly or Milk Belly. And it's going to be this clip. So you just tell me which one. I'm thinking this one because it matches with that hat good. So that in the clip. But, of course, the blue matches the clip a little better. But he'll come with that. That will usually be in their mouth. I usually put that in the mouth of the baby um, uh, when he travels home so that he or she, so that it just makes you feel like it soothes them before they come home. So that'll be in his mouth. Like I said, I did open his mouth. He does come with a closed mouth. I opened it perfectly to take full pacifiers, nice and clean. All right, it's going to have baby wash. It's a full baby wash, so if he ever gets hair, it can be for the hair too. And corn um, starch baby powder, so he can be powdered. But like I said, he won't need to be. You can just pounce it on him if you want to. Just don't rub. Don't rub these babies. They don't need to be. And then he will come with two towels here. You can see they're brand new. It's still got the little thing inside of it, but it comes with two girl and two boy. So that, but also a towel. I forgot to get the towel out here, so it'll be a baby towel with it too, but two washcloths and a baby towel. This is the diaper for on his face that he'll come home with, because of course I like to put that on the baby's face when they come home to protect the face. And then he will come with this bib. It's got the little giraffe on it. Oh, little string on there. Um, I just took it apart, so the little giraffe. So he'll come with the bib. And then when I was doing my sale, um, I uh, my baby sale, I didn't sell all the clothes, so I'm kind of getting rid of the clothes that way right now. Um, because my clothes are like in pristine condition. I get clothes, I use them once or twice, and then I just, you know, filter through. So he's going to have a day, a night outfit first. This is a sleeper. It has got the white and navy blue stripes, navy blue uh, sleeper with the bear on it. And it's also navy white and blue on, on the um, sleeves. It is not fold over. It does have the feet in it, and it zips up. And it's just really cute and soft, really nice, cuddly sleeper. And then a day outfit. I always like a, a night and a day. So here's a day outfit. It's called Little One. It's got the owl on it. It's a onesie, you guys. It does stay three months. He can wear zero, um, I mean, newborn zero to three. He can wear up to zero to three. Believe it or not, some clothes do fit him because he's a chunky little thing. So this is coming with him. This will probably be a little big on him, but the pants are perfect. I've already had this on him. Look at the butt on that. It's got the owl, the stars, and the moons. I love this outfit. So he's coming with that. It's a Carter's. So he's coming with that. And like I said, it was in my sale. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do those clothes for now. But also what I'm going to send with, how fun is this? I'm going to send a wrap home, one of those baby wraps, a, you know, a swaddle wrap. I'm going to send this with it. I don't remember the brand on this one. This is a sleep sack swaddle and it's size small. And it just is, you know, a swaddle wrap. So you can put it around him. I'll also send that with him. It's blue and gray and it zips up and Velcro's around. So you see, you can swaddle him up. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. So he's also going to come with a swaddle wrap. So you guys are lucky because I'm going to be giving that stuff away. And then he'll be wrapped in a blanket. 
and I'll wrap them in this one here. They'll be wrapped in this nice soft blanket here with the um, animals on it. He'll be wrapped in that. Plus, he will be also have a few little surprises. I always do like when I just close up the box, there's a few little things that come with it. He will also smell like a baby because I've been doing those um, wafer, um, what are they called? Those wafer um, patches uh, for the babies that they do a newborn. I put them in my silicones now, but I put it in a tissue, wrap it in tissue, tape it, and I just stick it either in the diaper or just uh, you know inside of his onesie so that the baby will smell like a newborn baby when you get it. It will not ruin him. Don't worry because I wrap it in that um, tissue. Of course, it probably doesn't even need to be wrapped, but I'm just making sure it doesn't transfer since they're a little bit oily when you first get them. But he'll smell like a brand new baby. And yeah, Dodger is ready to find a new home. Who is ready to take Little Dodger home for $525 shipped in the United States? Anything outside the United States, let me know. Here's my email. I'll put it up there if you're interested in him. Uh, definitely get a hold of me. And um, like I said, outside the U.S., I have to look into it. I'm just a little bit afraid. I will be putting my babies up on Etsy. I do have an Etsy account. It is my Heavenly Babies. I just haven't loaded nothing in there yet. And the first purchase that you do, the first you know baby that I sell, um, I do have to wait the three weeks so that that's how everybody knows that it's legit and all that. Um, of course, everybody knows I'm legit. Everybody has seen all the babies that have sold, um, that I've sold and people got and all the wonderful comments and reviews and everything. Um, also in Facebook market, I've gotten wonderful reviews. I've sh I've shared all that with you guys. But anyways, um, so yeah, maybe Canada, maybe I would ship outside of it. Oh, I was talking about the um, Etsy. So I will get them up, but it takes three weeks. And right after Christmas here right now, I could, I could sure use every penny. I'm out of supplies. I need supplies and things like that for the babies. So um, I don't like, you know, I can't really wait the three weeks. But once I get him done, I think the next one will definitely go up on Etsy. If I put them up on Etsy, I'll let you guys know. But Definitely right now, it's just, just email me. I'm just doing it through my YouTube right now again, but I will be having my Etsy store. Um, it's open already, but I will be putting babies in it very, very soon. So just contact me through email if you're interested in him. And like I said, if it's outside the U.S., um, we'll have to talk and I'll have to find out how much it is to ship it. But anybody in the U.S., it's $5.25 shipped. All right, so there's beautiful Dodger waiting for a mommy or daddy. I love all you guys very much. I'll show you before and after photographs of him before he was painted. And after, I always do that at the end and then some really cute photographs of him. All right. Say goodbye, buddy. Say I love you. Say I need a new mommy or daddy who's coming to get me. Who's going to buy me? All right, you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Mm -hmm.